we want to make sure that we're only gluing what we need to. So we are going to trace the outside boundary of our picture. Some of you guys might have a little bit of overhang that you can see on the back side. Now is the time that this needs to be trimmed off. So you're gonna turn it backwards and you're gonna trim any of that excess paper off. Okay, so this next part is one of the most important parts, okay? If this is not done well, uh, it's it's just not going to turn out right, okay? So the key is you have to work fast, and you have to use a glue stick, okay? Glue sticks dry pretty quickly. So even me, when I work fast, I always feel like there's some dry spots, okay? So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure every little bit of the inside of your surface has some nice glue. Okay, you're not doing this until you watch what I do, okay? All right, so I like to just work in one direction and I'll go up over it a little bit just to make sure I have my whole rectangle ready. Woo, my glue sticks are already running out. Um, double check too that you have enough glue in your glue stick. I'm just going back over this one more time. Okay, working very quickly. I'm gonna grab this and I'm gonna place it on. I still have to work quickly though, so now is the tricky part. You're gonna start in the middle. You just wanna kind of press it down to make sure it's not gonna dry out on you. But you're gonna get a Q-tip. You're gonna start in the middle and you're going to start pressing that uh, tin foil in all the little edges, okay? Um, you can use your finger, but our fingers are kind of sticky. And if you use a, a Q-tip, it kind of helps press it into those edges. So you're gonna wanna work from the middle and then kind of work your way outward. And you just keep going over these areas, the big areas, you can almost kind of press them down with the soft part of your hand just to make uh, contact. But then from the middle going outward, you are going to want to really go around all of these. See how, uh, see how it really defines those areas where the glue is? Do you guys see that? Okay. So the Q-tip, you wanna kinda take your time once you've kind of pressed it down, your glue should stay pretty wet because it's not exposed to air. But um, it's really important to try and get it pressed down so that it's still wet when you're doing this process so that it actually glues. Otherwise, you're gonna have raised areas, which usually everybody will have some raised areas. It's not gonna turn out perfect. I get raised areas. Um, but this is how it will turn out the best. So um, the drawer that's open right now behind Brogan has Q-tips in it, okay? Glue sticks are over by the markers in the little black box. Okay, once you've gotten to this point, we're going to flip it over and we're going to trim off everything but about, I don't know, half an inch to three quarters of an inch of tin foil. This probably isn't great for our scissors, but. All right, we are going to 
kind of come over slightly from the edges and we're gonna cut out little uh, shapes out of our corners, okay? So all of our corners kind of have little flaps. You wanna try and cut exactly to the corner. Very carefully, okay? Because these are really fragile now and they have areas that they could rip from. So very carefully. I would start from the middle and go outwards to the edges of the wings because if you start at, at a corner, it could rip the corner. So start from the middle, come back to the middle and go to the other edges. You're just gonna push it from the middle away from the edge. So it's nice and tight on that corner. Okay, you're gonna turn and do this for all of them. Start in the middle. You really wanna make sure glue gets really close to your cardboard. And then fold it over nice and tight and push away from that edge so it's nice and tight on the edge. When you're done, all the edges should be nice and tight. Everything should be glued down so we don't have any raised edges.